guys, let's just ignore the fact that that little twister is in the way of the camera. Hi, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. <coughs> Today's video, <coughs> I've got a cough, which is not COVID, I've been tested. I just feel like I have to clarify when I cough that that is the case. I do have an inhaler because of my chest and I am a bit bunged up so you can hear it in my voice. That being said, I do feel a lot better today than I have done all week. Today's video, we're gonna have a vegan day of eating. I'm gonna show you guys what I eat when I am being vegan. I'll be honest with you guys, being vegan and not being vegan, there's not really a kind of massive change in that diet to me. When I'm not vegan, I still eat a lot of vegan foods. So when I am vegan for these sort of challenges, it doesn't feel that different. And I feel like when I'm filming, I'm just kind of filming a normal day of eating. However, I did actually post a post on my Instagram about my approach to Veganuary this year. And if you guys don't know, if you've never watched the video of mine or you don't follow my Instagram, you won't know that I am struggling with an issue called parosmia right now. I did actually have an MRI scan for it yesterday. <laughs> <coughs> so I've had an issue called parosmia for a long time. I was working with COVID in March right through till May, June time. So in April, I actually got the symptoms of COVID, but that wasn't recognized at the time. So I lost my taste and smell. After a week or so, it came back and I didn't think anything of it. I didn't even realize at the time it was COVID. COVID, or at least I don't actually know if it was COVID but I'm 99% sure because of obviously the environment I was in it likely was anyway that's the only symptom that I had anyway I was fine and then months down the line my taste and smell didn't go it went all strange and everything started smelling weird there's a lot of foods that I couldn't eat anymore because they just tasted like off food all the time so I have had a good five six months of dealing with that which means that this year Veganuary is going to be very different for me there's a lot of things that I can't eat and I don't know if you guys know that a lot of vegan stuff, like especially vegan meat substitutes, are ridiculously flavoured with garlic and onion and all those kind of things. <coughs> things that I with prosmia cannot have so it's a challenge so this veganuary I haven't set a target on myself to be 100% vegan and already I've had a few things in the fridge that I've had to eat before they go off I wasn't going to waste them and no one in my family likes things like Greek yogurt for some reason so it means that there's a couple of things I've had like I've had some Greek yogurts that obviously they've got milk in I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I am 100% vegan blah 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 I've done it for two years the past two years I have not made a single mistake unless it was by complete accident and I was totally unaware of it but for the past two Januaries I was 100% vegan but yeah I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that I'm being vegan for the whole January I'm gonna do the best that I can this video today I'm being 100% honest with you guys I'm gonna show you everything that I eat today and I am gonna try and make it all vegan there's a couple of things that I have found that are vegan that I can eat with prosmia <laughs> I just basically wanted to share that with you guys just so that you guys aren't sort of misled to believe that I am being 100% vegan or that you guys don't misunderstand what I mean by me not doing it fully like I'm not making excuses for myself I 100% know that if I didn't have prosmia I would be willing to do this 100% this month but it is what it is you know and I've got to make the most of it and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed my breakfast this morning I think I've already shown you guys on the first clip I had porridge and and that Lotus Biscoff spread is incredible, guys. I don't think I'll be able to do any vegan fast food challenges this month, but we'll just see. We'll play it by ear, you know? Prosmia might decide to magically disappear, but I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to go to the gym now, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Bye! So I'm at home now and I am going to make some dinner. It is actually quarter to four, so it's quite late. But I'm going to head to the fridge and I'm just going to get out my burgers that I'm going to have. I actually had these yesterday. They are delicious and they are the meatless farm burgers. I got these from Morrison's. I've got two types of vegan cheese actually in the fridge. I've got this epic mature via life cheese, which is a little bit weird, but it does the job. And then I've also got Vita life cheese, which I got from Asda. So I do have a couple of cheeses to choose from, but basically I'm gonna make a vegan burger with some lettuce because we have hella lettuce to get through. Just because where I work, got too many lettuces and I got some free lettuces. So that is the story of the lettuces. I'm just gonna have some water as a drink because I need to drink more water. Yeah, I'm gonna have some veg with it as well. So I'm gonna make some dinner and I'll catch you guys when it's ready or I'll show you guys how to not me making it because that's boring. Okay, bye. <laughs> I have 
got my dinner here which is a vegan burger with vegan cheese and some vegetables and I'm gonna get some ketchup for it. I also have a new ring light so that's good news for the, the vlog. Oh I can actually go down a bit. Oh that's a bit better but now the table's really high up. Ah that's a little bit better. You can actually see the food that I'm eating now. So let's do a live taste test of this burger for the camera. I've probably done a taste test of a similar burger to this before. It's so big. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's it. These vegan burgers don't have any garlic or onion in. So to me, they taste quite plain, but that's what I need at the minute. So if you like a sort of meat substitute that isn't full of garlic and herbs and onion, you'll like these. And considering there's not many things I can eat, when I can eat something, I am amazed. So I'm just going to get on with eating this now. I'll speed up the footage. That vodka, <coughs> guys, is from New Year. Oh, a bauble fell off my tree, which my tree needs to come down at some point very soon because it's now the 4th of Jan. Yeah, it needs to come down today, really. So I've got till the 6th of Jan, but I'm in work. So we're going to do that today. Yeah, so what I've got is some tofu and avocado and spinach and a sandwich thin. I just wanted to quickly say I've not been tracking macros today. I've just been kind of intuitively eating. I do do that at times when I just can't be bothered to track. I don't always track anymore. Yeah, I just didn't really feel like tracking today. I will do a full day of eating vegan where I track <coughs> and my calories. But today, you know what? I just think when I'm being quite consistent with the gym, and I'm eating pretty sort of regular meals. I don't really feel like there is a need to track. When I perhaps have gone a little bit crazy, like I've had like a few days where I just can't stop eating, we all get those days, then I sort of track to get myself back on track kind of thing. But yeah, I don't really track that much anymore. Obviously being a vegan for this month, I was gonna track just to get, <coughs> just to have an awareness of my calorie, uh, protein intake. I got this, um, what's it called? Um, tofu from Aldi today. I will show you guys quickly what I got from Aldi as well. I'll probably do another full day of eating actually where I try more things. But I basically got some of these vegan pan of chocolates. I don't even buy normal pan of chocolates. So I basically just bought them because they're vegan and I was interested to try. And then I also got these vegan caramelized biscuit cupcakes. I'm not that hungry, but I know that I need to have my tea. I haven't had tofu actually for a whole year because I don't really like the way that I make it, but actually gone a bit cold i might have to put it in the microwave i might put it in the microwave and sprinkle some cheese on it actually vegan cheese by the way so i'll be back i've just decided that that's what i'm gonna do and in three two one we're back in the room we've now got cheese on and we've now got hot food instead of cold food as with any vegan video i just wanted to establish that vegan food isn't always healthy aka da -da 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 -da. So a vegan diet is not necessarily going to make you lose weight. But I do find that with a vegan lifestyle, I do tend to focus more on healthy, nutritious food. So for example, I definitely wouldn't have had this meal tonight if I wasn't being a vegan. Veganism, veganuary, whatever you want to call it, helps me to focus on getting a lot more vegetables in my diet, which quite clearly, if you guys can tell by my voice at the minute I need. I think a lot of people do sort of misjudge a vegan diet as boring and that's why I do try and do Veganuary to show you guys that it's not. I did film a video actually in June I think it was where I tried all vegan Aldi plant menu products. <laughs> That was a long time ago, but I will edit and upload that video for Veganuary. I just didn't ever get around to editing it. And obviously right now I won't be able to try half of the things that I tried that day. So I will make it clear in that video that that was a past video. I think especially at the minute, I am trying to focus myself more on getting wholehearted meals in rather than lots of little snacks that I do tend to do. And I've got into myself into a bit of a habit where I'm not really eating properly. You know, I'm not exactly crazy overweight. I'm like, if anything, I've probably lost a little bit of weight over 
over the past couple of weeks, months. Prosmia has made it very easy for me to lose weight because it's limited my diet quite a lot and it's put me off a lot of foods. I have definitely lost a bit of weight. I'm not mad about it. I do feel a lot stronger at the minute. So even though I may appear smaller, I am actually a lot stronger than what I was a couple of months ago. But yeah, so this is my dinner. Like I said, I've added some of the, I think it's the Violife cheese, which I'm not the biggest fan of because it doesn't taste like cheese. It tastes like coconut. It's weird. And also I've got some of these from Aldi as well. And I think these are vegan. Alas, let's eat this. Let's try it first anyway. It's actually so good. Although I don't really like tofu. I mean, I like tofu, but it has to be cooked nicely. Just look at that, guys. That is so good. The way I've cooked it, I'm not going to lie, I've done a good job. It's giving me scrambled egg vibes. And obviously I can't have eggs at the minute because of Veganuary. So I'm trying not to have eggs anyway. But I haven't actually been able to have eggs for the past, since September maybe, because of Prosmia, the, the taste of eggs isn't right. That's kind of like scrambled egg, I'm not going to lie. So that's all gone. Guys, I wasn't <coughs> actually that hungry and then I started eating it and I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely gonna make that again. That was actually super, super delicious. I'll probably catch you guys when I have dessert which you guys are gonna love. At the minute, I'm really stuffed. But yeah, basically, if I don't get around to doing the outro, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the little bit of intuitiveness to it and the fact that I've not tracked anything and have no idea what my calories are today. I've just listened to my body. I do wanna start doing more videos like that to show you guys that it's possible to do that and also stay healthy and reach your goals, I guess. I find the days that I'm not tracking quite stress-free now. I used to get really stressed about them, but now I know what my body needs. Like I know that I'm not that hungry and I don't need to have dessert tonight. But I also know that my heart wants dessert and it won't do me any harm. I'll catch you guys in the next video and stick around for the pudding because you all want to see that. Bye. So guys, I've got the pudding right here. Here is the dessert. It is the plant menu chocolate melt in the middle pudding and then I've also got some Alpro, I was gonna say soy milk, no, it's single soy cream and we're just gonna try. Wow, guys, look at that, literally. That is delicious, I can't stop eating it already. That is so chocolatey, I love it. That gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Wow. Again, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.